Airless paint sprayers paint or stain large surfaces faster than a brush or a roller. Airless paint sprayers. Paint sprayers are offered on both cart and stand and in different motor configurations. An airless paint sprayer consists of a motor, pump, high pressure hose, spray gun, and spray tip. The sprayer runs on 120 or 230 volt circuits depending on model. The motor builds pressure in the pump. The pressure then atomizes the paint as it is released through a spray gun. Sprayers put out a maximum pressure of about 3,000 psi. The spray gun facilitates the release of this pressure. It is extremely important to spray away from your body. There is an injection hazard if the paint enters your body. If this happens, it is poisonous and you must see a doctor immediately. Use these machines with respect and do not aim towards your skin or any other person or animal. Assembly First, open the packaging, check contents, and then remove all of the parts. Tilt the box and roll the main unit out gently. The tools needed for assembly are 3 quarter or 5 8 inch wrench or two adjustable wrenches. If sprayer is on a cart, install handle in position and tighten knobs. Next, attach the high pressure hose to the pump. Be sure to tighten with a 3 quarter inch wrench. Attach the spray gun to the high pressure hose. Check that all fittings are secure. Take note of the spray tip on the spray gun. Rotate the arrow forward for regular spraying or reverse the direction for cleaning or to free blockages. Now moving on to preparation. Remove inlet valve cap and with your smallest finger push the inlet valve stem until it moves freely. Push the outlet prime button three times to ensure the outlet valve is moving freely. Attach the suction assembly and bypass tube securely to the unit. Notice that the prime spray control knob can be turned to either prime or spray modes. The pressure knob can be turned clockwise for higher pressure or counterclockwise for lower pressure. The on off switch is located on the opposite side of the unit. It is important to flush the system prior to first use. To do so, run a cleaning solvent through the pump. If the unit is building pressure properly, the pump should produce a knocking sound like you hear now. This sound shows that the sprayer has reached hydraulic relief pressure. Paint. Place the suction assembly and bypass tube in a bucket of paint. You will see paint come up the suction tube and out the bypass tube. Once the bubbles in the bucket stop, you will know the pump has primed and you can turn the sprayer to spray mode. Point the spray gun down the side of a bucket or wastebasket wall and spray to flush the hose of any water or solvents before painting. Be sure to keep the spray gun aimed directly at the object being sprayed. If you flip your wrist, uneven results will occur. For best results, make smooth, fluid strokes. When finished painting, turn the trigger lock to the locked position. Clean up. With the unit in prime mode, turn the unit on and tilt back. Do this until paint is no longer being pulled into the suction assembly. Quickly transfer the suction and bypass tube from the paint bucket to a water bucket to purge the paint from the unit. It is important to not let the water circulate in prime mode for more than 15 minutes as it could damage the pump. While the unit is circulating, wipe off the exterior of the two tubes. Turn the pressure down to reduce splashing. Change from prime to spray mode and spray down the wall of the paint bucket for about one minute until water starts to leave the spray gun. Now to fully rinse the pump, spray the gun into the water bucket. To ensure that the unit has been flushed well, run clean water through the unit once more. 
If you're going to store the pump for long term, consider using Campbell Hausfeld Pump Protector to circulate through and keep in your system. Remove the high pressure hose from the unit and drain. The hose can then be reassembled or stored off the unit.